In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix using Laplace expansion. Now, unlike Sarah's rule, Laplace expansion is not restricted to a 3 by 3 matrix. You can also use it for bigger matrix. Now, another name for the Laplace expansion is actually cofactor expansion. It's called cofactor because it uses a combination of cofactors and minus to solve the determinant. To facilitate my um, demonstration, I have uh, enlarged the matrix as well as drawn the checkerbox of the sign here, which I have explained in class. This checkerbox is full of alternating signs starting from positive in the top left hand corner and then alternating to between minus and positive. So to start a Laplace expansion, you can choose any column or any row. So my choice perhaps will be this column. I'll choose the first column. So the elements in this column together with the corresponding sign will form the minor, which I will write this way. So 4 and positive, uh, the, po uh, the positive sign correspond to this element 4. So I have a positive 4 and I prepare with a 2 by 2 determinant. And the negative sign corresponds to number 2 here. And finally, positive corresponds to 1. So to fill in this 2 by 2 determinant, Let's go back to this element 4. Now for this element 4, what we can do now is to take away the row and take away the column to get the cofactor. So we are going to do the same for the rest. So let me erase this. So this element 2 was from here so I take away the row, take away the column this will get me the cofactors and let me do the same for the last element so for this element 1 it came from here and I'll write what's left over So now I have reduced a 3 by 3 determinant to 2 by 2 determinants, which is easy to solve. So to solve a 2 by 2 determinant, let me remind you, just take the top left hand, multiply to the bottom right hand like this, take the bot uh, top right hand, multiply to the bottom left hand like this, and subtract them. So I have 5 times 2 minus negative 1 times negative 3. Do the same. 6 times 2 minus negative 8 times negative 3 6 times negative 1 minus negative 8 times negative 5 which is a positive 40 so simplifying this I have 28 plus 24 plus 34 which still gives me 86 now since Laplace expansion says that you can choose any row or any column, let me just show you what happens if you choose the second row. So if you were to write out the corresponding sign with the corresponding elements, I have negative 2, positive 5, and negative of negative 1. I'll just write it in this way. So if we look at this element and you take away the row and take away the column, I should see this. If you look at the element 5, you take away the row, take away the column, you will see the remainder elements. If you look at the element negative 1, take away the row, take away the column, the remaining elements are this. 
So if you work out the same way, reduce the 2 by 2 determinant, and uh, your answer will, should be still an 86.